This is Hannibal here with the HannibalTV.com and we have X-Pac with us. Sean Waltman, how are you doing today? Great. Amazing, actually. <laughs> Glad to be able to say that. <laughs> well, it's nice to see that you're, you're doing well. You, obviously, your, your struggles have been well documented, but from all reports I've heard, you're doing great these days. Oh, yeah. I can't. I mean, you know, um, then things keep getting better. So, you know, I got that beautiful dog that comes everywhere with me. Um, Is that a stress dog? Is it considered? Well, what happened with her, if you don't mind me telling you real quick, is I found her. We were just going down Van Nuys Boulevard and she wandered out into traffic and she was all full of blood and her jaw is broken and she's blind in one eye. And so I, I just kept her. And as she works as that too. I think all dogs are stress dogs. If yeah, they, definitely. You know, if, need them to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them bark a lot and uh, could cause more stress, but definitely mine, uh, mine helps. So one thing I wanted to ask you about, you said you saw it. We did an interview with Duke the Dumpster yeah. recently, and he told us a story about a match where you guys apparently, there was some stiff stuff being thrown. Yeah, yeah. And um, he t the way he told it was pretty, and uh, coming from his point of view, it was pretty much exactly how it went. Uh, it's just I didn't realize when he hit me with the big boot that it was a receipt for anything. I just thought he caught me with one. Okay. You know, like because that was kind of I was, um, you know, I was on pills and shit like that in the ring that night. You know, and like I was stiff and I was stiff and Duke Mike. Uh, I had potato like one of the bushwhackers. You know, like I didn't even realize I was doing it. Just like stomps, you know. Um, and yeah, so apparently that was the receipt and well-deserved one. <laughs> so, but the, the, the shit in the pants thing, uh, if I did that, it didn't have anything to do with that. But it's a, it's a nice to add to the story, though. If you did that, it would have been because of everything else that you were on yeah, at that time. Yeah. yeah, I mean, um, and I definitely wouldn't have thrown my tights away. Uh, it was really hard to get a new pair. Uh, Especially on the road. Yeah, man. So, yeah. <laughs> but no, pretty accurate story. Yeah, and I loved Duke, man. I loved working with that guy. Do you think he could have done better if he hadn't kind of given up partway through his run? Well... I mean, you just never know, right? And but I mean, he had all the talent. He was fantastic. I mean, his timing, just the, his charisma, you know. Uh, even and and you know, there was nothing wrong with that gimmick that he had. It's just that it had a ceiling, and it was like mid card, you know. Like I mean, it's just uh, you duke the dumpster. You can't, you can't go that that high with that. And he would have had to have ditched that. It would have eventually if he would have hung in there. You just never know. I would have loved to have seen what would happen if he would have stayed the course. And when I interviewed Kevin Sullivan recently, he told me you were probably the most underrated wrestler in his opinion because you're switching back and forth between WWE and WCW really changed the momentum of the company. Uh, do you feel that you are underrated? Uh, I don't know if I can... You know, I mean, maybe with some people and then some people maybe overrate me. Who knows, right? Like, I, I, I mean, it's funny how we rate ourselves, right? Yeah. Like, well, everyone's going to say they're the greatest. Well, I mean, some people do, right? Like, uh, well, I was going to bring it for example then, but I don't want to go off into other people. But, um, no, well... <laughs> well, Bret Hart. No. <laughs> no, well, I just, I feel like because I always knew my role... I was, you know, like, okay, if we were going to compare, like, the Wolfpack to the Freebirds, I was Buddy Roberts. Uh, and it, I wasn't the greatest promo guy, you know? So, like, I, it was, you know, uh, I don't know. I think I'm rated pretty fair. Yeah, you were definitely, I think some people, because of some of the heat you had, kind of makes you a little bit underrated because you're definitely uh, a great talent in my opinion and one thing I want to ask you about I saw the surreal life episode where you made that appearance when China was on there yeah. was that a work at all no, or did, no, no was it was just an unfortunate uh, situation where the producers kind of saw like a situation that they could exploit you know between the two of us and you know they invited me up up to the house and oh so oh, they yeah. did want them. oh they yeah did. here deliver these like i just dropped flowers off to her i didn't even think i was going to see her 
And they're, oh, why don't you bring them up there to her? And realize, you know, I didn't realize everything that had been going on the whole time and, and that. But yeah, no, and, and, and before you go here, can you sign this waiver? So I, I you know. <laughs> uh, so you know, um, they they didn't do me any favors uh, when it came time to edit that, but I didn't do myself any either. So what are you gonna do, right? It's really unfortunate what happened with her, especially towards the end. Oh, um, any positive memories you could share about tons, your time with her? Tons. She was just amazing. Like, I mean, she was. She was so incredibly talented uh, at so many things. She was musically talented. Uh, um, you know, when she was, when she was, um, you know, shining, she, sh I mean, it was amazing. You know, amazing to be around her. Uh, uh, I regret that we couldn't, uh, we didn't reconcile before she passed. It was looking like it might, it was gonna happen, you know. Um, so many things said and, and all that, but uh, um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's tough to talk about it, but uh, she's an amazing woman and she deserves to be honored and, uh, and uh, you know, not to be remembered for the tough times that she went through right you know unfortunately I'm I'm grateful I'm able to pull myself up out of that you know and we were hoping the same for her and it didn't happen and um, yeah. she didn't have enough time unfortunately either no. it just happened and, so fast and and you know it's 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 so important the people that we have surrounding us you know yeah. didn't she move to Japan towards the end or something sure and and I think that worked for her for a while but um you know, the, when you're isolated, you know, you have the issues that, you know, we deal with and, and that, it's, it can be really bad and, uh, and that, but like I said, just, it's a, like, it's really important to have amazing people around you. That's, that's, that's the main thing, especially when you have, you know, when you struggle. As most wrestlers do, we've all, we all have our issues, obviously. Uh, any advice for, for wrestlers that struggle with problems or people in general that have various addictions? Wow. It's tough. I, I mean, I know this is really cliche, Evan, but, you know, just the, all that, like, just don't give up. Stay the course and, and try different things. You know, um, we keep trying the same things when it comes to mental illness and not that they don't work for some people but it's so complicated that this might work for this person this might work for that person you know the 12 steps is, is a pretty good blueprint but it doesn't work for everyone so like you we got to have other things and and you know i i i had good luck with hypnotherapy uh amongst other things you know amongst all the other things that i picked up and put in my toolbox along the way until I, you know, until we have that breakthrough. Yeah. Because we can want it and, uh, or, no, let me, uh, this is what I mean. <laughs> you can want to want it and still just not deep down want it yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's so frustrating. Yeah. It's so frustrating because it's just like, what's wrong with me? Why can't, it's, there's, there's something wrong with me, you know, and you start thinking like you're not a good person, like you're, and, and it's, that's not it. That's not it. It's just, you know, there's it's a it's, mental health issue that you can't do anything about sometimes. Yeah. Or we can do it, but we have to have the resources. Yeah. And who has them, man? You know, especially in this country. Now, what do you, what's your opinion on weed? It's just been legalized in Canada. I don't know if you heard. Uh, yes. cause a lot Mexico. Of, yeah. Did you hear about that? I did. Yeah, the Mexican that. Supreme Court just ruled it uh, unconstitutional, the prohibition. Because, yeah, that's kind of a therapeutic drug in, in a way. It's been a, an, an incredibly important part of my recovery. Uh, but, you know, addiction is, like, it's, like we talked about, it's so complicated. It's, I wouldn't just blanketly recommend, okay, if you got these things going on try weed because like pot people always want us to say you know we, we and and it's great but and it works great for me but it might not be a good idea for you 
okay. if you have certain types of mental illness. I make you freak out a little bit more. Could, or you have to try the right one. Yeah. You can try one that's like for, you know, for something else, or and, and you don't get the right strain, and, you know, I mean, there's, so yeah, no, it, it can be an incredibly important tool. Well, I definitely used it during my hepatitis C treatment, which was very difficult to get through. And I didn't make it through the first one. I actually only lasted 19 out of 24 weeks. I used it during the second one. I made it the full 36 weeks. And you want to close this off. Where can people follow you on social media? Um, at the Real X Pac on Twitter. Uh, at Real X Pac on Instagram. My show, I think, is at X Pac 12360 show. Your new podcast, right? Yeah, yeah. It's very a big hit, I hear. Well, I think it's doing pretty well, yeah. and we've been I've been doing it for a couple of years, and uh, and some you know we have guests and different. Co- I, I don't just you know I have the newer guys, I have the older guys, people I've known for years, and I don't know. I'm just having a good time with it. People like it, and uh, I'm grateful. So maybe I'll have you on if you don't mind. Definitely, and we definitely want to do a full extended interview about your your whole career one day. So that's definitely you're on my list of people. But I appreciate you talking uh, to us, and best of luck to you. Thanks, man.